Lord, how many are mine adversaries become? Many are they that rise up against me. Many there are that say of my soul, There is no salvation for him in God, Salah. But thou, O Lord, art a shield about me, my glory and the lifter up of my head. With my voice I call unto the Lord. When he answereth me out of his holy mountain, Salah. I lay me down and I sleep. I awake, the Lord sustaineth me. I am not afraid of ten thousands of people that have set themselves against me round about. Arise, O Lord, save me, O my God. For thou hast smitten all mine enemies upon the cheek. Thou hast broken the teeth of the wicked. Salvation belongeth unto the Lord. Thy blessing upon thy people. O thou that dwellest in the covert of the Most High, and abidest in the shadow of the all mighty. I say of the Lord, who is my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust, that he will deliver thee from the snare of the fowler, from the noisome pestilence. He will cover thee with his pinions, and under his wings shalt thou take refuge. His truth is a shield and a buckler. Thou shalt not be afraid of the terror by night, nor of the arrow that flieth by day, of the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor the destruction that wasteth at noonday. A thousand may fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand, which shall not come nigh thee, only with thine eyes shalt thou behold and see the recompense of the wicked. For thou hast made the Lord, who is my refuge, even the Most High thy habitation. There shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy tent. For he will give his angels charge over thee, to keep thee in all thy ways. They shall bear thee upon their hands, lest thou dash thy foot against a stone. Thou shalt tread upon the lion and asp. The young lion and the serpent shalt thou trample under feet, because he hath set his love upon me. Therefore I will deliver him. I will set him on high, because he hath known my name. He shall call upon me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will rescue him and bring him to honor. With long life will I satisfy him and make him to behold my salvation. A Song of Ascent Happy is everyone that feareth the Lord, that walketh in his ways. When thou eatest the labor of thy hands, happy shalt thou be, and it shall be well with thee. Thy wife shall be as a fruitful vine in the innermost parts of thy house, thy children like olive plants round about thy table. Behold, Surely thus shall the man be blessed that feareth the Lord. The Lord bless thee out of Zion, and see thou the good of Jerusalem all the days of thy life, and see thy children's children. Peace be upon Yisrael. Shema Yisrael, Adonai Eloheinu, Adonai Echad, Hear, Israel, Adonai is our God, 
Adonai is one. The following two lines are to be said silently. Blessed is his name, whose glorious kingdom is forever and ever. And you shall love Adonai your God with all your heart, and with all your soul, and with all your possessions. And these words which I command you today shall be upon your heart. And you shall teach them sharply to your children. And you shall discuss them when you sit in your house, when you travel on the road, when you lie down, and when you rise. And you shall bind them for a sign upon your hand and they shall be for totepot between your eyes. And you shall write them upon the doorpost of your house and upon your gateways. And it will be if you diligently obey my commandments, which I command you this day, to love Adonai your God and serve him with your entire hearts and with your entire souls, that I will give rain for your land in its proper time the early autumn rain and the late spring rain and you will harvest your grain and your wine and your oil and I will put grass in your fields for your cattle and you will eat and be satisfied. Beware lest your hearts be swayed and you turn astray and you worship alien gods and bow to them and Adonai's fury will blaze among you and he will close off the heavens and there will be no rain. The earth will not yield its produce and you will perish swiftly from the good land which Adonai gives you. Place these words of mine upon your hearts and upon your souls and bind them for a sign upon your hands and they shall be for tota vote between your eyes. And you shall teach them to your son to speak them when you sit in your house and when you travel on the road and when you lie down and when you rise. And you shall write them upon the doorpost of your house and upon your gateways in order that your days be prolonged and the days of your children upon the land which Adonai swore to your fathers to give them for as long as the heavens are above the earth. And Adonai spoke to Moses saying, speak to the children of Israel and tell them to make for themselves fringes on the corners of their garments throughout their generations. And they will place the fringes of each corner a thread blue and it will be to you for fringes and you will look upon it and you'll remember all the commandments of Adonai and you will perform them and you will not turn aside after your hearts and after your eyes which cause you to go astray in order that you will remember and perform all my commandments and you will be holy unto your God. I am Adonai, your God, who brought you out of the land of Egypt to be your God. Adonai, your God, is true, emet, and firm, certain and enduring, upright and faithful, beloved and cherished, desired and pleasant, awesome and mighty, correct and acceptable. Good and beautiful is this affirmation to us for all eternity. It is true that the God of the universe is our King. The stronghold of Jacob is the shield of our deliverance. Throughout the generations he endures and his name endures and his throne is confirmed, and his sovereignty and his faithfulness endure forever. His words are alive and enduring, faithful and desirable, forever and to all eternity. 
for our fathers and for us, for our children and for our generations, and for all generations of the seed of Israel, your servants. 